any final message you would leave uh, for Donald Trump if you were watching this? Just watch. They're going to steal the election and they're going to try to set you again because the Democrats are behind it. This is my motherfucking right right here. Wow. Why is it defending you? It's like it's not me. All right, then shut the hell up and let me vote. I'll tell you what. There it is right there. Wow. The chief says that they were here to cause a ruckus and antagonize an opposing political party. Here's that picture again of Caleb Williams holding the machete in the air, police say. The only things guaranteed in this life are death, taxes, and Republicans cheating in elections. And being racist. An Eptoon Beach teenager today accused of pulling out a machete at an early voting site expected in court for a first appearance. And being violent. These men, four men, start harassing me, telling me I need Jesus, telling me that I won't have the right to vote in this country unless I start bearing children. And then they start telling me the worst of all, I hope you bear your child whether it's at your will or not. And being creepy, rapey, misogynistic, garbage human beings for the MAGA Grand Slam. With the side of cheating so egregious and disgusting that it would have Mookie Betts calling this fair play. And yeah, Betts has that ball in his glove and this fan literally tries to take his glove off. Well, he won't be watching the game much longer. If only we could reject Republicans like slimy Yankee fans. Wonder who they were voting for. But folks, even in the last 48 hours, voter fraud among Republicans has been so violent and widespread, they're thinking of renaming it Trump's diarrhea. <sighs> there are frankly too many instances to get into in this video, but let's break down the most disturbing ones and gradually increase from garbage can all the way up to absolute dumpster fire of human beings. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. How do you like my garbage truck? This truck is in honor of Kamala and Joe Biden. And make sure you stick around because we'll cap it off with this machete-wielding, Trump-thumping boy who looks like he just won the award at an all-white fraternity for most slurs in under a minute. Okay, I'm about to start yelling slurs. Okay, take a deep breath. Doing the absolute dumbest thing anyone could do other than vote for Donald Trump and then getting his ass handed to him by a judge. And surely, with all of this violence and intimidation, we will see some righteous indignation and denunciation of these heinous acts from their fellow Republicans who are oh so concerned about the safety and sanctity of our election. Trump wins, will you accept the results? Of course. If Kamala wins, will you accept the results? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious, all in good fun, right? As I'm sure was totally the case for this Trump supporter caught on video verbally and physically attacking poll workers who told him he couldn't wear his pro-Trump hat near the polling place according to state law. Wow. A moron MAGA monkey see, moron MAGA monkey do. This guy's throwing a bigger temper tantrum than his rapist toddler criminal cult leader. But thankfully, he soon saw reason, calmed down, and didn't lay a hand on anyone. Of course, I'm f***ing kidding. Oh, wow, God. Oh. Wow. Now he laid hands on the poll worker first and what Republican could blame her for standing her ground? 
And authorities are investigating this fight at the South Carolina polling place, and no arrests have been made yet here. But notably, South Carolina law restricts what people can wear to go vote. Voters are not allowed to wear anything that displays a political party, candidate, name, or ballot issue. Though to be fair, I wouldn't expect anyone wearing a camo Let's Go Brandon hat to know anything about the law other than the Second Amendment and Jim Crow laws. But that despicable Republican display of uncivil disobedience brings us to our next beacon of Republican regression stinking atop shit hill, fuckboy Florida man Caleb Williams who took a machete to a polling station in Florida to protect his right to free speech by violently infringing on others' rights to free speech. An Epsom Beach teenager today accused of pulling out a machete at an early voting site expected in court for a first appearance. Police say Caleb Williams went to the Beaches Branch Library yesterday afternoon to intimidate voters. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar is joining us now live from Neptune Beach. Aaron, that early voting site just opened a few minutes ago. We say there were eight different teenagers all between 16 to 18 years old. The chief says that they were here to cause a ruckus and antagonize an opposing political party. Here's that picture again of Caleb Williams holding the machete in the air, police say. It was taken by one of two women who told police they were worried about getting hurt. The Duval County Democratic Party says the women were peacefully holding Harris Walls signs when Williams confronted them with the machete over his head. When police arrived, they found the teens and say that Williams was standing next to a truck and that the machete was in the bed of that truck in plain view. Williams was arrested. The other teens were not. Williams is in the Duval County Jail right now facing two charges, including aggravated assault and improper exhibition of a dangerous weapon. Records show that he registered as a Republican in March of last year. Chief Key says he is committed to making sure that this site remains safe for anyone simply trying to cast a ballot without fear or intimidation of doing so. To, to say I'm disturbed is an understatement. I'm mad that uh, this happened in Neptune Beach. This goes way beyond expressing freedom of speech to say your peace is your First Amendment protected right, but that goes out the window the moment you raise a machete over your head in a threatening manner. And boy, folks, Republicans must love the taste of their own feces, because that is the only way to describe their logic. And furthermore, here's proof of Caleb Williams eating his own shit. Having found probable cause, and it appears that this uh, incident was related to voting, I'm going to set bond in account one at 50,003. You're, you'll be outfitted with a GPS monitor not to go within a thousand feet of a polling place unless it is for the specific purpose of your casting a vote. Other than that, you will not go within a thousand feet of a polling place. Count two is improper exhibition of the firearm. Bond will be set at 5,003. Those are your bonds. All the calls have been found. Public defenders appointed. And your past date is November 20th. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you. And those are only some of the people who got caught. So even though I know they won't listen, maybe before Republicans go throwing stones out of their glass houses about election interference and fraud, maybe they should take a look at that reflection that's looking them back right in their stupid f***ing faces. Stay safe this election season, folks. Stay clear of Republicans at polling places just out of precaution. Let me know all your thoughts and wisecracks in the comments. I love to read them. For Really American, I'm Kenny Hess, and I'll see you all in the next one.